Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel right at this time. I am here with baby Phoebe, and baby Phoebe is the Willow Awake. She is sculpted and poured by Claire Teller and painted by myself. Um, I bought her as a blank kit and then painted her. Um, and I just wanted to show her a little bit close up. Let me see if I can get some light, more light on her. Um, but this is my little girl. And today I'm going to talk about, you know, I know everybody keeps saying, why is it so hard to find, you know, AA babies? Let me get, now I am, I do have to apologize for the camera moving a whole lot because it's not on the tri tripod. I'm going to show you inside her little mouth, which I absolutely love. I think it's, wait, it's because I'm so close and the light, I'm blocking the light. Whoa, you can't see the actual color of her tongue. But I love the way her tongue, the tongue color came out. You know, I never know what I'm going to get when I'm mixing up the colors. So I just try really hard. Let's see. See, see, see. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, that didn't work. Anyway, um, just like I don't know what color I'm gonna get when I mix up the colors for the the babies. Um, just their hair color, whatever. But anyway, she's just laying here. Um, not going to do much with her. I'm going to actually go over and give the boys, one of the boys, a bottle. I'm going to show you guys them. They're in the bed next to them. So that's Noah and Nigel. I did not paint these myself. These are the prototypes, and they were completed by Claire Teller herself. Um, so those are not my work, but I just wanted to show you. They are, um, Nigel is the same sculpt as Phoebe. Um, he's Willow awake and then Noah is Willow asleep. Um, these babies I am trying to hold on for a lifetime and I'll tell you why in just a moment. That's it. It's just not easy to... to be able to show. Also really quick, I want to show you the baby that is gonna be truly my favorite and my heartbeat of the nursery. Um, this is baby Phoenix. He is a toddler. He is not um, put together and he is currently getting his hair rooted. I am already in love with him. I've already been dressing him without a body. Um, let's see, I'll try to get some of his details for you guys. This is another baby that I've really been carefully painting for myself. Um, in the backgrounds for a while, um, I just, you know, every now and then when I get a chance, I would paint on him and he's finally done and I'm so happy. Um, and I'm, I, I mean, I really, really, really am so happy because I wanted to have this kit, but I wanted it in AA skin tone. And I, the skin tone that I wanted is, um, at first I was going for, actually, to be honest, I was going with, going for a darker skin tone. And then I was like, you know what, this is my sweet spot right here. Um, so I went with this and I'm totally happy that I did I am so in love and you know this is what I, what I love most about being able to paint um, again let's sit down for a chat grab your coffee grab your tea and let's talk about it all right Lola's so I am here with baby Nigel and he's gonna get a baba while we talk so I get it a lot of people are so frustrated. I get it in my comment section. I get it in private messages. I deal with it myself as well. 
Um, a lot of people are like, oh my goodness, what is that? I tell you, when you paint and stuff, you, you'll have like paint under your nails. You'll have everything, silicone stuck up under your nails sometime. And it, you'll be like looking like it's dirt or something, but it'd be anyway, paint. But anyway, um, so yeah, so a lot of people are just frustrated. Like, why is it so hard to find, you know, African American dolls in today's time? And, you know, or um, especially in silicone. And, you know, a lot of people don't want to hear this. A lot of people, you know, want, a lot of people get upset when people say this. But to be honest, painting African American skin tones is a real challenge. Even for African American people that know what color you're trying to reach, it can be a real challenge. Um, I don't have a clue of how I come up with the colors that I come up with when I do. Sometimes I'm not even sure if it's going to be realistic or how it's going to work. It's more so in silicone because the same colors that I mix for my Reborns, I'll try to mix it for my silicones and it's it just don't look the same so I have to kind of play with it a little bit more just to get it to work so that's one thing number two we have a lot of non-African American people that are trying to paint the African American babies and without the actual knowledge of them actually seeing real black babies in person um, sometimes they miss the mark but sometimes they get really good they do really good at it where it's like close enough, you know what I mean? Um, sometimes some of the little subtle details that, you know, most black moms, aunties, godmoms, cousins, when we see the babies in person, we know that most black babies normally have this and they normally have that. The funny thing is, is it's like, um, every black baby don't have darker ears. Every black baby don't have darker nail tips. So, but it's funny because if you've never seen African American babies and you hear that or you see it, then you'll see a trend going amongst the artists that they'll do it to every single baby. So you'll have a high yellow, which, you know, high yellow is light skin. You'll have a light skin baby, a fair complexion baby with super black ears. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> boo that don't happen but I mean sometimes it might do because you know a lot of times and you know and I, I say that lightly I'm talking as a in, a in a general sense that's like more of more than not because every now and then there's a baby that does something really crazy like my grandbaby she was born she they were born my grandbabies was very light when they were born um and they remained light as time went on of course with some of the you know oxygen and stuff like that I think that played a part but then my grandbaby when she came home she was darker and it was like look at these little chocolate these little chocolate legs and stuff but every time I go and see her she's lightening up I'm a person that actually got lighter as I got older slash the other way if that makes sense so um you know it's so yeah it can be those one-off things but it's it's challenging and that's the same as for me like if I try to paint a Caucasian baby now my brother is 10 now I think and I can remember when he was one and the my other brother which is biracial was well he was one too but by the time the other brother came, he was two. So anyway, I can remember those ages and I can remember some babies, you know, in passing that, you know, was Caucasian. We had red heads and all that stuff. But it's not like the hands-on, like, babies that I kept, you know, watched, like, transform before my eyes. So I'm very more familiar with African-American babies of the babies that like I had myself my children or whatever 
And like I said, none of this matter if an artist is going to be more skilled or not. And I don't know why I got into this, but um, because there are some Caucasian artists out here that really paint black babies very well. Okay? Extremely well. Some of them paint them better than even some of the, you know, other artists that you would think would be painting them you know nice okay so it works both ways like it, it's it's not about oh she's white i can't buy a baby from her or she's black it's not a, a color thing i'm just explaining that no matter who you are it is challenging so therefore it makes there's plenty african-american dolls out here but there's not that many that is well done or at least have the skin tones right and the markings right and stuff like that and then when you do find them, um, the prices are extremely high. So that I think is the biggest frustration for a lot of people. Like, or the artist does not take customs, or you know, or they only sell to certain people, or um, I don't know. Like, you, it's just it's it's very challenging. And of course, when they do put something up. It's gone like that because everybody's been looking for it. But what I think the reason why you don't see as many is because a lot of people expect to. They want to pay like cheaper prices for the African American dolls. They want to like a lot of people, you know, the prices that the dolls cost, unfortunately, a lot of people, like I said, are not willing to pay that. So, you know, the price of Nigel and Noah is really up there. And a lot of people are not willing to pay that or not able to pay that. Um, some people have it and they're just not going to pay it for a doll. And I get that. But, you know, as far as affordable dolls and affordable nice dolls is very rare I don't know the solution for it um, you know I can say stop trying to beat down the artist when they do put a nice baby up you know you know stop trying to you know some people are like they don't just say oh, okay I'm sorry that's you know out of my price range or whatever or would you just are you willing to take payments like and that you know some people not willing to take payments because people leave them stuck so it's just a it's it's not a easy thing, but you know you get some people be like, why you gotta why is gotta be that high? Okay, did you ask Sally that when you was trying to buy Billy Bob over there? No, you didn't. So why are you gonna come to me and ask me that? You know what I mean? So it's like a lot of times you know artists. They get beat down on their prices and they don't want to deal with it. Now, I can tell you when it comes to reborns, there are a lot of nice African-American reborns out there. Like a nice, like a lot of nice ones. Um, prices might not be as cheap, but there are a lot of nice ones out there. I've seen quite a bit. Um, well, uh, I guess, well, not really, to be honest. Um, the main, there's a lot of people that's like pushing them out, but when I seen them in person, I was like, not impressed. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's more. When it comes to the Reborns, you do find more. Um, you do find a lot more in the Reborns than you do Silicone. Silicone is like a needle in a haystack trying to find, you know, an African American doll. Like, you see so many like um black collectors with babies of like this skin complexion or you know a little bit more biracial than than Nigel and that's it that's as far as they go um or they have the little um a lot of people paint this like Cheeto color orange color babies and you'll have that because if you're trying to find anything different, it's very hard to do in, in silicone. Like, seriously, really, really hard to do. Um, I'm going to take things off. But, yeah, it's, you know, 
But I say, like, it's not a solution, but I say, like, when you see a doll that you really like, you got to go for it. Like, you really do. You have to go for it. And then sometimes people just, like, they, they want to get it for cheap. It's not going to be cheap. So I say save up for it. When you see a doll up for sale, don't hesitate. You got to buy it. Because if you, if you don't buy it, somebody else going to grab it. And it's no telling how long it's going to be before another one come up. Um, I get a lot of people always ask me for the dolls that are not for sale. Like, they're like, or they'll say, if you ever decide to sell this doll, let me know. But then when I let them know, they they don't even respond. So... I don't even do that anymore. If you want a doll and you're waiting for me to put the doll up for sale, if I put the doll up for sale, you just grab it. Um, don't don't look for me to reach out to you because I feel stupid coming to you saying, "Hey, I'm selling, you know, Mary Jo. Are you still interested?" And you just don't even respond. So, you know, I'm not gonna keep doing that. You know, and then you just keep saying the same thing. Then why keep inboxing me telling me? let you know so you kind of gotta you know it's 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 frustrating on both ends it's frustrating for artists it's frustrating for buyers and this the dolls now have really went up they the prices have really went up so this this hobby alone is just not for the average person um which is why you know i'm pretty much going back to my reborns for the most part um, Reborns is just more affordable and um, I mean when you get the kits like the blank kits that's nice but it's hard to find I guess it's not hard to find anyone to I'm not gonna say it's hard to find people to paint you just gotta know where to look um, because there are a lot of artists now that are painting um, the silicones in AA skin tones and stuff like that. Um, some are better than others, but you gotta go into Facebook forums. You gotta be, you know, on eBay. You gotta be um, in Facebook silicone groups or you know stuff like that. You and then a lot of people are trying to take classes themselves and learn to paint. And that's another thing, guys. I'm not trying to be funny or nothing like that. But if you're paying somebody to teach you a class, and then I got so many messages from people that was actually taking a painting class asking me how to paint african-american dolls that's something you need to ask the person that's actually you're actually paying and for me i don't offer classes i'm not going to tell people how i mix my colors or what colors i do because it's special to me and then plus half of the time, I don't even really know, to be honest. And I, if I tell you something, you're going to be like, that ain't come out right. You know what I mean? Because I don't know. Like, I literally just sit down and look at, I'll look at the baby. Sometimes I leave a baby for like 48 hours. Like, I'll just, two days, I'll just keep walking by the baby, looking at it, going, what do I need? What color do I need to put on this to make it go to this? And then I'll just sit there and mix. And then I'll just... Go with it and see see what happened. And that's why I don't. That's another reason why, you know, for me I don't do customs. I don't know why some other people don't do customs because they're very confident and been painting a long time. But for me, I can't do customs because you may be like, oh, I want a dark skin baby or I want a light skin baby. That baby might come out like a caramel color or you know, it might come out light biracial because when I get through mixing colors, I don't know what it's gonna turn out to be. I'll be like, okay. You know, like I said, with um, Phoenix, I thought I was going to go for a darker color. I was going to, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go for a darker color. But I, that color was so sweet on him. I was like, uh-uh, this is it. And he was like close to my color. So I was like, I was going to go a little deeper. But I didn't want to, I I just, I, I started liking that color. So I started working with that color. Like that, that's a sweet spot for him. So I went with it. But if that would have been a custom, the, the customer would have been pissed off. So, and another thing, you know, it's like, 
that's another reason why a lot of people don't do customs like i seen one lady she said she had to snatch the baby whole head of hair out because the hair was like an inch shorter than the picture that the mommy provided and the mommy was just like i don't even want it just take it out you know how many hours it take to root a doll and it the the rooting was like looked like it was so um like it wasn't like pluggy or anything so she had to take time to do that and she literally had to snatch out all her work. And people charge three, four hundred dollars to root sometime. And she not gonna make that. Cause I'm sure they're gonna make her discount for not having rooted hair now. I just I don't know. But so customs is like hard. Or you send somebody a picture of this real baby and you want the baby to look like this but when they finish it don't look exactly like that then you got to deal with no it's too much so customs can be too much and that's you know another reason but like i said i i understand you guys frustration i don't know what else to tell you guys other than to try to save your money and have it ready so when you see a baby you can just grab it you don't have to sit around and wait on you know, or come to somebody and you don't have the money because nine times out of ten, they're going to take a straight payment before they take a payment plan. Um, and some artists will tell you straight up in their post. They're like, this baby is available. I will sell to a person for a full payment first over a payment plan. They'll tell you straight up, you know. So, yeah, so definitely, you know, that's number one. Start saving now and try to have yourself ready and that's kind of hard sometimes but yeah um but like i said join facebook groups join you know you know this dog groups silicone groups because second hand and not second hand even artists they'll post in those groups before they even go to ebay um they'll post on it follow artists every artist that you like work follow them because sometimes they'll be working on something they just want a quick sell they'll put it up for sale you know and you know i'm guilty of this i'm not in a lot of groups and i be seeing babies now like on instagram and i be like where that artist came from well what that work is nice and then come to find out they got a whole group and a whole following on facebook and you know stuff like that so you gotta i don't care if you just make a dolly account you know and then when you approach people, be like, hey, I'm not into Facebook or anything. I'm a more of a private collector, but I have this Dolly account. I made this account just so I can follow dolls and try to find me a baby. You know, be straight up front with these people because some people be looking at the profile like, what? And it, another thing, I can't, I can't do the cartoon pictures. Like, if you have like a fake cartoon picture, I, I'll be like, uh uh-uh <laughs> like you got a fake name fake cartoon picture it's it's scary because you know there are scammers out here so anyway that's another subject for a whole nother day i hope that you guys just enjoy the conversation um but i'm just not trying to offend anybody or nothing like that it's just it is what it is and you know yeah, I, I understand the frustrations. I'm frustrated a lot of times. You know, when I first came into this hobby, you know, there was things that was cheaper. I mean, a lot of babies were a lot cheaper than what they are now. And there was, you know, tears and stuff. It's like now all of them are expensive. So, I tell you what though. This this is the thing. I tell you what. If there comes an artist that makes an affordable doll line, like even with the blank kits, whatever, you know, and I realized, you know, I didn't even realize that. Like kit the blank kits. There are kits out here that's really, really inexpensive. Um the only thing is sometimes, and I know people are going to get mad at me when I say this, but sometimes you get what you pay for. Every now and then it's like, wow, this is a nice kit for this price. You see what I'm saying? But the thing is, 
the the artist that comes out with something that's decent and have a a, a very average price for an average collector I think will kind of dominate will take over the not take over the market but dominate the market because it's so many buyers out here that really wants a nice doll but the prices is just above their reach and you know it's the same thing for painting and I thought I was going to be able to provide a painting service with silicone that would be affordable and be able to do it but once I got into it guys it's just too tedious too hard the supplies are too expensive I mean at bare minimum you 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 can't charge less than a thousand dollars for painting because it's just you really not making any as much when you do it that way because if you do it less than that because of the fact that I mean the the, the paints the the brushes everything is just so expensive and it's not like when you doing reborns you your paints last for years <laughs> your brushes last for years sometime you know I, I do add new brushes and switch out brushes a lot though with even my rewards but still I mean that stuff lasts forever and artists know this they are not gonna tell you this but with reborn supplies it ain't even touching the, 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 the surface of silicone supplies like I literally can probably buy my whole setup of paints brushes sponges everything that I use for reborns for about the same price that I buy just for the silicone itself I mean just for the you know just for the paint itself what I paint with not even getting into the the, the bins and the this and the that and da 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 and all the other stuff that I use that's how big of a difference it is so that's why it's so expensive for silicone and then when you try to paint an African American baby and you mess up or it be slightly off and you got somebody talking about well, I ain't paying for that. Or I don't want to pay this. Who? Not too many people finna take that risk. Because that's a lot of money to just chop up and lose. So, anyway. That's my thoughts. And, you know, so I do believe that what people are paying for their dolls is is definitely worth it. I do believe, you know, what they're charging for their, their silicone babies. I do believe it's worth it um, because of what it takes. And, like... You know, especially like someone like Claire Taylor that, and you know, some of the other artists too that put a lot of detail in their silicone babies. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of time. It's a lot of skill. And I, you know, it's, it, I, you know, hats off to them. I just wish that we could get some that was, you know, at a, a cheaper price, but I can't, I can't tell no artist to, to lower their work, their, their, their value on, on their work. And they're putting out, you know, top of the line work. And, you know, I, I feel bad because I know myself, if I, when I, when I went to doll shows and I start looking at other people work, I'm looking at my work and I'm always, you guys know, I'm always real hard on myself. When I seen what was out there, I was like, why should I be? charging less and doing more but you know and I'm sure that's what artists say but then again I am also the one that said we paying for artists egos but I'm getting to a point where I'm trying to find a way to where I can make the money that I need to make and still not I don't I'm hoping to not Ever, like as far as my rewards I don't plan to really go up on my prices but you know if I keep working I get really really good who knows th you know three three years from now if I'm still doing this maybe I'll be like you know the big time prototype artist and selling at three four or five thousand dollars for a reborn but I, I hope that I can you know keep it affordable but times change and you just don't know anymore. You know, you can't, I can't say that. Because I thought that I would offer, you know, silicone babies for really cheap. But I can't do that. I don't even, no, I won't even paint silicone babies for anybody else. I'll just paint them for myself. Um, I just, I have anxiety of messing up somebody's $3,000 kit. And can't replace it. You know what I mean? So, 
I'm just not even finna do that. I'll paint for myself, but I'm not painting nobody expensive silicone baby kit like that. Because people be like, oh, I don't care, it's okay, blah, 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 blah. But then when you mess up, it be a whole nother swap. But I ain't saying if you did all that, you know. So I ain't doing that. Anyway, this is a long video. I'll talk to you guys later.